Hello, I'm Dan Genovese. I'm Director of Consulting at Intercom, and I'm joined today by uh, Darius Roberts and Lauren Rosenblatt, founders of Uplift Solar. They'll be presenting at the Energy Venture Investment Summit on campus at the Carter School of Mines uh, uh, at 11.45 a.m. Mountain Time on February 17th. The conference is the 16th and the 17th. Uh, their presentation will be 11.45 a.m. Uh, on the 17th. Uh, welcome, Darius and Lauren. Thanks for joining me today. Glad to be here. I'm really looking forward to you guys uh, kind of giving our viewers an overview of what Uplift Solar does. So uh, I'll give you the floor and let you guys kind of describe what you guys are up to in the, in the uh, 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 power component uh, electronics market. Sure. Thanks, Dan. Well, as you just pointed out, Uplift Solar makes power electronics. Um, a lot of people think we make solar panels, but that's not quite the case. Um, but we don't make just any power electronics. We make the power electronic that the energy transition is just calling out for right now. And because of our power electronics, innovative forms of energy generation are able to deliver power in the way that people want it, in the amounts they want, where they need it. And uh, that's what differentiates us from other power electronics that are out in the market today. Yeah, and your, your, your component uh, is compact. It fits inside a solar panel or energy storage device. Explain that a little bit uh, for our viewers. Sure. Um, to step back, uh, when you pop the top on the black boxes that are behind solar panels, or or even in the in the you know in oil fields, you might see a large uh, you know uh, electric box. You, if you look inside, you'll see you know big, big bulky components. And so we've come up with a technology and patented that technology that we can streamline that and put a bunch of small components and then interleave the contributions from all that. So it's a it's a new way of managing power that allows us to really um, spread out the power distribution. So you don't have one big bulky box, but instead the power distribution is spread out through all the components in the system. Yeah, and that helps improve power production and lower cost of installation. Uh, maybe touch on that. You know, I, you, I can see as you're holding it up uh, that this, the, the differential in size, uh, but tell me how that improves the power production uh, for those systems and lowers the cost of installation because I think that's very important in, in, in the industry. Yeah, so um, in addition to doing uh, power optimization at a lower level so we can capture more of the sunlight that's sitting panels, um, we, we add an intelligence layer so that all of these panels can work together. If you have a, a, a row of 10 panels together, or you have micro wind or you have batteries, uh, they coordinate with each other in real time and that makes the work of installing them so much easier because installers, um, it, it's like having a systems designer. You have to have a lot of expertise right now in the way that solar systems are put together. But if the components themselves, if you can have lower skilled labor um, up on the roof, putting, putting panels together, um, if the installers themse themselves don't need to worry about as much about it and the, the system is keeping track of uh, what the voltage should be, then you know, it, it lowers the barrier of entry and it makes it easier to manage those installers. Yeah, and it, so uh, uh, Lauren, I'll ask you this, you know, uh, what's on the market today uh, that you guys significantly improve upon uh, in terms of power electronics uh, for solar? Yeah, well, um, the, the issue with power electronics uh, that's, I think, frustrating, what Uplift found frustrating when it started to think about the, the energy transition is that they're very limiting because they require a specialized design and a fixed set of parameters to handle each energy device with which they're partnered. And so it might be that you have a power electronic that handles a solar panel of a certain wattage or a power electronic that handles a battery of a particular chemistry and does very particular things. Every time those energy innovations need the power management system to drive them and deliver the electricity that people wanna get out of those, those devices, they need to have a special design, a custom made electronic, or they need to pull something off the shelf that doesn't quite fit their application. And then they end up contorting themselves and having a, a, a less good energy innovation to fit the power electronics that are available. 
we have a patented power management technology and we can make our board um, physically any shape. It's thinnest in class. So it can tuck inside a solar panel or go inside a tight battery space. It distributes the heat, it's high reliability. It, um, and we can size the components for the electrical characteristics of the device. And all of that is rapid production because the baseline patented technology is the same. And so now, now what we've done is we have one power electronic that enables all kinds of energy innovations. And that's why we say we're the single power electronic for the energy transition. That, that sounds fantastic. Sounds like an incredible value proposition. If I'm a, uh, a, a solar panel, panel manufacturer, if I'm an installer, uh, I, I would want to talk to you. And then, you know, obviously, whoever's my supplier, uh, make that introduction, because it certainly sounds like you know, ease of installation uh, and, and lowering the cost of installation is, is important within this industry uh, for even broader adoption. So, uh, you know, I definitely want to encourage people uh, to look into that. If I'm an investor, um, Darius, what, what, what should I be thinking about uh, in terms of making an investment in, in Uplift Solar? Well, um, we are synergistic with so, so many different technologies that I, I think that you, you want to look at us as a smart bet in the industry because um, we're working with a bunch of different innovative, uh, innovative companies and uh, this market's not going away. So some of the, some of the uh, value propositions that we, we um, make will help lots of different companies. Um, so we, we think we're a smart bet in any portfolio. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I, I'm sorry, Lauren, go ahead, please. I was just going to say that the diversity of opportunity for our product means that we not only enable products that have large market shares themselves, but a wide array of, of markets of different sizes that are all clean tech, which is something everybody's focused on. But for an investor who has a portfolio of investments in, in batteries or solar or micro wind, then we are also a bet on how they can make those companies commercialize and grow their markets faster. Yeah, I can only imagine when you guys, uh, uh, you know, have a meeting with a so solar panel manufacturer, I'm sure they're probably, you know, very wowed uh, by the opportunity to work with you uh, and, and uh, integrate your technology into their, their panel. Uh, I just want to remind everybody uh, to register for the Energy Venture Investment Summit uh, that's coming up here in uh, a few short days, actually, uh, and, and come and hear uh, Darius and Lauren. Go ahead and meet them. Uh, listen to their presentation at 11.45 a.m. on the 17th. I think it'd be well worth your time uh, to, to set aside some time and, and meet with them and hear a little bit more about the opportunity to invest uh, in, in Uplift Solar. Um, if you want to get a hold of them prior to the conference, above this interview in the publisher's notes, I'll have my email address. Reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to put you in touch uh, with Lauren and Darius uh, prior to the conference so you can really engage in a good conversation uh, and, and make the best use of your time while you're there. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Very, very uh, excited to hear more about uh, Up the Solar and your presentation uh, coming up on the 17th. Great talking to you, Dan. Thanks. Have a great day.